Hi everyone, my name is Brie Alvarez and I'm speaking to you on behalf of SEHS Student Government. Today we're going to review tons of the most important information about hybrid learning as of April 6th. The school doors will be open at 8.15 every day. As you come inside, there will be a staff member at the door, greeting students and helping students get where they need to go. As you enter, there will be hand sanitizer available. Staff members will also be visually checking face coverings. If you don't have a face covering or have an insufficient face covering, they will be able to give you one to you. If you're not wearing it correctly, they will tell you to put it on right. When you come to school every day, you will be required to wear a face covering for the entire school day. Neck gaiters or bandanas, bandanas are not allowed. Your face covering must cover your nose and mouth, sit securely on your chin, and remain snugly on your face. You are also not allowed to take off your face covering to talk and definitely not to cough. When you get to school, you will surely be tempted to greet many people you haven't seen in a long time. Remember to do so in a safe and socially distanced way. As you move through the hallways, remember to try and remain six feet apart and stay on the right side of the hallway. There will be dotted lines in the middle of the hallways to maintain this distance and facilitate the flow of traffic. Students will be allowed to go to the bathrooms as needed. As you enter the bathroom, remember to keep social distancing measures in mind. Before you leave, thoroughly wash and dry your hands, sanitizing them as needed. There will be hand sanitizer stations placed in the bathrooms. Please try to limit your time spent in the bathroom to help maintain COVID protocols and make the most of your in-person school time. During first and fourth period on A and B days, your teachers will again greet you at the door and make sure you have an allowed face covering. Once you enter the classroom, make sure to sit immediately at a desk and remain socially distanced from others. Throughout the school day, you will need a variety of supplies in order to fully participate. First and foremost, make sure to bring a backpack or bag every day to carry all of your supplies. You will also need a computer and a charger with you every day at school. Please bring your school issued laptop and a charger. Be sure to keep it safe. You might also be asked by some teachers to bring in textbooks or notebooks. As well, some classes might require different supplies, like calculators for math and science. Finally, while classes and classwork will most likely be conducted online and on Canvas, you will also want to bring in writing tools like pencils, pens, and highlighters. As you leave class, remember not to linger unless absolutely necessary, and remember to follow the same hallway procedures mentioned previously as you move to your next class or out of the building. If you have any questions about hybrid learning, please feel free to direct message at SEHSStuGov on Instagram or email southeugenestuGov at gmail.com. We will try to get you the most accurate information possible.
Throughout the day, there will be opportunities to fill up your water bottle at the special fountains. The regular water fountains will not be available to use, so you may want to bring a water bottle to drink throughout the day. In the last five minutes of each class period, you will have an opportunity to eat and or drink while seated at, the, at your desk. As you do so, you will be allowed to quickly pull down your mask. When you are finished eating and drinking, please do not wipe down your desk. At the end of the day, students will be able to leave the building. For most students, this will happen at 12.50 on A days and 11.30 on B days, unless you have a free period or a zero period. No students will be allowed to eat lunch at school, but there will be free grab and go lunches available in the cafeteria for students to pick up before they leave. As you exit the building, remember to keep your mask on until you are in a place where you can safely take it off. If you arrive to school by bike, keep your mask on until you're away from school grounds or at home. If you walk to school, keep it on until you are off the school grounds and away from other people. If you take the bus to school, keep it on until you get off the bus. If you drive to school, keep it on until you're in your car. Thank you so much for watching and have a great return to in-person school. Go Axe!